Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa. If you are new here, your favorite problematic housewife. Okay, today I'm doing a response to the Dad Challenge podcast response to my video. I did a video yesterday. I will link it below if you didn't see it. But he was explaining scandals at the church. And he thought he was cool and thought he would expose, you know, the church that he was at. And he pretty much exposed himself for covering up the essay of a child. And he clearly, clearly didn't know what happened. They said they just let the guy go. But now he's singing a different tune. So we're going to go over what he said, and I'm also going to play clips of what he said the first time, and we'll compare them. Do a quick video. This is going to be like a few minutes max about a story I did yesterday in Hillsong and talked about my church. And of course, you know, I said something that people went just bananas. They're going to make all my haters going to make all the videos they can make about it. So I just want to get out ahead so that you guys can hear with my words what actually happened with this meeting at my church. It's actually a pretty big. Um, we already know what happened. This is so ridiculous right off the bat. Oh, so you can hear from my words what actually happened. I played your words, you douchebag. Those were your words. You told the story. Is this real? Are we in some alternate reality? This is crazy. Big deal. And so let's talk about it real quick. So I said in the Hillsong documentary that we had a meeting at my church. And this is, I was trying to allude to a lot of churches have these types of meetings because they go down. Whenever there's a scandal inside of a church, they will have a meeting because they don't want the staff to talk to the media about these scandals, right? I'm just going to interject here really quick, you know, just to keep myself safe from copyright. I want to do a really quick little mini fashion review before we continue on. Because that sweater is ugly as fuck, Josh. It's hideous. Hopefully someone in your house burns it. Never wear that again. Fashion review over. Let's keep going. Right? Like any corporation or anything like that, modern churches are like corporations. So um, I don't know if I was not clear. I, mean, I guess not because people were freaking out. I had some comments and then I got obviously, you know, a bunch of people making videos because they just can't. They're just oozing with hatred for me and they just cannot wait to make a video about me. They're like, oh my God, he finally, he's a murderer. We got him. We got him dead to rights. No. More deflection from Josh and manipulation. Nobody wants you to cover up child SA just so we can make a video. We are not like that. We are not you. You would be the type to love these kind of things to happen so you can make a video and make money and attention and views. Like you exposed this in the first place for money, attention and views. Not to help a victim because you're a piece of trash on the street. That's not how this went down. So the meeting at the church was because the person was already removed from the church, was already reported to police and all the authorities that needed place. People and that happened and all he was asked to do was step away. That's it. I don't know. I'm sure the police got involved. I'm sure it all did really go down, but we didn't, nobody knew. Nobody knows to this day what happened because the church keeps that shit silent. They keep the scandals silent and church should never keep scandals silent. So clearly the first time he did not say that. The first time he said very clearly, he's sure they're contacted the police, but nobody knew. Nobody knew. And they were, then the second time he had this meeting because they reported it and did everything they were supposed to do. That's not what you said, Josh. That is not what you fucking said. So you're not going to sit here and act like I'm a liar when I played what you said, you piece of shit mother. People are talking about me being a mandated reporter and all this kind of stuff. And they're making all these allegations against me. It's absolutely not true. So here's how the story went down. I am a worship pastor. I'm not a youth pastor. <laughs> First of all, he keeps changing what his role was. First, he was a pastor. Then he's a worship pastor. He's a worship leader. He's not a youth pastor. He did say before that he worked with children. Yes, he did. He did. But let's go over mandated reporting in Ontario, Canada, where Josh is from. Let's go over really quickly Ontario's mandated reporting laws. Duty to report a child need of protection. A person, including a professional, who performs duties with respect to children, has an obligation to report the suspicion that a child has been SM or SE, or that there is a risk the child is likely to be SA'd. Here's an important part. A person must report directly. A person who has a duty to report abuse 
must make the report directly to the society and cannot rely on another person to report on their behalf. A religious official, a member of the clergy, it doesn't matter if you're a youth pastor, a worship leader, a pastor, you are a member of the clergy and you are mandated to report this on your own yourself to the proper place. Not trust that somebody else did it. So Josh actually admitted that he broke the law by not reporting this and staying silent because he cannot rely on somebody else to report for him. It says it right there. Had, this was not my department. I had nothing. I had no idea about this until the meeting. So the meeting comes, comes down. They say, hey, this guy did this thing. We, I don't even to this day know what it was. I think about three or four months before I was fired, could have been a little bit longer than that. There was a youth leader in our church, an adult youth leader, male. Okay. Nobody at that church to this day probably knows this, but he essayed a student. Okay. Was asked to step. Did this thing. We I don't even to this day know what it was. They just said it was inappropriate and it's been dealt with. And they said, rest assured, it's been dealt with. The parents have come in. Everything's kind of, you know, legally been taken care of because the churches, if anything, want to make sure that they're legally taken care of just for every reason. So, um, but because that was all we ever heard of that, even as a staff that this, and I'm sure it's happened multiple times at this church and it has in the past. That was one big thing happened. And people who go to my church who are watching this might not know that, but there was a kid and that happened. And all he was asked to do was step away. That's it. So we, we trusted our pastor. We said, okay, sounds good. looks like you have everything under control, but then he's so let me get this straight. You trusted your pastor who was telling you to cover up the assault of a child who you are now dragging and exposing and want to whistle blow on. Makes so much sense, dude. Also, he said he trusted the pastor. But I will say again, a person who has a duty to report must make the report directly to the society and cannot rely on somebody else to report on their behalf. He's a liar, you guys. A complete liar. And he exposed himself for breaking the damn law. He said at the end of the meeting, he said, and if the media comes to you guys, you do not say anything. You come to us with anything that if the media has asks you any questions, because any church, especially a church of my size in any town, if a scandal goes down, it's going to be reported. And to this day, it wasn't reported likely because it was solved. I, did, I was not aware. not aware of an essay and didn't report or anything like that. As far as I'm aware, I don't know what happened after the, it got reported. I'm, ho I'm hoping the guy's in jail or whatever the case may be. I, I wonder, and all he was asked to do was step away. That's it. I wonder if the parents pressed charges. And I also wonder if the parents asked the pastors of the church to keep it quiet because a lot of victims don't want their stories out in the world, which. Then why did you tell somebody else's story? Oh, that's right, because you were getting something out of it, exposing a church that fired you and getting views and attention at the same time. Which I will never do. I'll never put this person's story out. I don't even know the person. And so part in the church that I just served at, I think about three or four months before I was fired, could have been a little bit longer than that. There was a youth leader in our church, an adult youth leader, male. Okay. Nobody at that church to this day probably knows this, but he essayed a student. Okay. Was asked to step down. We sat down at a leadership meeting. Okay, where the lead pastor. No, exactly. Partly that is the reason the pastor said, hey, look, it's not your business to put this child's story out to the world. And so that's kind of where we were. And it made sense, right? Twice, there are so many secrets inside churches around the US and Canada you'll never know about because they'll keep it secret until they can no longer keep it secret. They will. In the church I just served at, if we we wanted to honor the parents and the victim's wishes to say, you know, you don't just go tell them, if you work at a place and something happens, you just don't, you don't go just tell the media. And if the media comes talking to us, we were told to talk to the pastors. They never did talk to me. I just want to get ahead. If you knew and you kept it, if you kept it hidden, you step your ass down. Get away from that shit. If you kept it hidden from your flock that you were leadership over, I am a worship pastor. I'm not a youth pastor. This was not my department. This was not my department. This was not my department. Uh, you're a complete asshole and uh, you're going to be judged very harshly for that. Have it because I know that every single person that hates me is going to make a video this long about it and how I'm the worst person on earth. But I want to let you know, guys, that it was taken care of. Um, but I want to let you know that there is not an outstanding essay. It's not something I knew that nobody else knew. Nothing like that. I still to this day don't know really what happened. Except for that one meeting in that room. So.
I hope that clarifies everything. It probably won't for all of you who really hate me, but that's okay. I just wanted to make sure that that was clear because I made a community post and I want to make sure everybody sees it because I think you're owed that. So thanks for watching Dad Sean's podcast and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh boy, I must say, <laughs> I'm not mad about Joshy Poo shaking in his britches right now. You can tell he's scared because he completely fucked up big time. It's very obvious that he stuck his foot in his mouth, thought he was cool, you know, exposing the church scandals and all these pieces of crap who hide SA of children while he was doing that and exposed his damn self. That is what an arrogant prick he is. And also, I gotta say, he's a pussy ass bitch for sitting in that room and then saying nothing afterwards. He really is. He's not a man. He's a sad, sad excuse for a man. And I'm not sorry to say it. He says that he's not going to ever expose a victim's story, yet he told people about this. People can go and find out the time period, who was the youth pastor. It's not very hard. He's a piece of trash, you guys. He's a liar, a fraud, and a hypocrite, and he exposes his damn self every day. All we have to do is play his own words to show what he does and I will keep calling him out and I will keep calling him out till the cows come home because I am not going to sit here and let this stupid fuck get away with this shit. He can call everybody crazy and haters and detractors but every day more and more people are waking up to who he really is and he cannot get out of this one. He did this himself he exposed himself he lied and covered up the essay of a child and potentially allowed other children to be harmed because the guy just was let go i wonder what his church would think about him exposing this very very interesting please tell me what you guys think below he's not getting out of this one i really hope more creators talk about this because this is horrible and probably one of the worst things he's ever done I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.